is up you guys my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball today we're going to talk about how to receive short and deep passes First, let's review the ready position, but if you don't know me already, my name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball so much that my channel is full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. There are some common issues with short and deep passes, like first, the constant diving without need. This means players who dive when it's a short ball, rather than adjusting their body to get to the ball without feeling the need to dive. We want to make sure to position ourselves appropriately. Second is using one arm. Sometimes the ball is coming very quickly and we're not ready, so we use the ball with one arm. I've seen this a lot happen. Personally, I was never one of these players who kind of did this, but it's common. We want to make sure to get two hands on the ball. Receiving the ball chest tight is also a thing. You're going to pass the ball, it's coming to you, and boom, you get it caught into the chest. This is something that happens quite often when the ball is coming too quickly and we don't know what to do. Back pedal receiving. This means when you're going to get a deep ball and instead of adjusting your body, you back pedal. What happens if somebody's behind you? What if you don't know what's behind you? You could trip and fall, let's not do that. Some practice drills is you're gonna need a partner, so I have my husband here. You need an open space, a volleyball, and a partner. Now what you're going to do is make sure that you guys are about five feet apart and you're gonna show them how to toss you a short ball, especially if they're not a volleyball player. This will help them understand exactly what kind of ball to get you and get rid of some tossing frustration. But in the meantime, I have some volleyball bracelets on my Etsy store. So help volleyball stay free by supporting my Etsy store and buying a volleyball bracelet. Back to your regular programming. So I have my husband tossing me a short ball. I have a point on the court where I'm standing and I'm going to be in ready position. He's going to give me the ball at a short angle that requires me to adjust and is challenging for me. If it is too easy, ask him to give you something shorter. You want to keep your platform together and we don't want to break your platform when passing. Also, you want to readjust and go back to that starting point every single time so that way we can make sure we're staying on target. Now the same thing when you're receiving a deep pass. You have a target on the ground that you're gonna keep coming back to. They're gonna to toss the ball to you behind that target and we're not gonna backpedal. Instead, we're gonna transition sidestep, which means we're gonna open our right foot up to the court by keeping our eye on the court and tossing it back in. Opening with my right foot, crossing over with my left foot, keeping my eyes on the court at the same time so that way I have every player in the court and I can see. That's one more time. Opening with my right foot, crossing over with my left foot, keeping my eyes on the court. You got to try it. It really does help a lot. Okay, back into the drill. You should never have your eyes that are away from the court. So you never want to turn around and run your body away from the court when you're running from a ball and pass backwards. This is why I've never taught you how to pass over the behind your head because it never ends prettily. Have your partner toss the ball behind you and it forces you to transition back. And I want you to make sure you practice that transition a couple of times and then get ready to go. Eyes on the court, nice job. So what you wanna practice in this is making sure that you know how to transition your body both left and right and different angles so you don't get overwhelmed. Make sure you call the ball so we can get into the habit of calling short or deep because it helps people around you and it will help you. I hope that you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it. And let me know if this works for you in a game. See you next time.